And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Cincinnati Reds going up against the New York Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now and pitching here today, David Peterson. Well, Boog, maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. Now it's the second baseman, Ellie De La Cruz. Swing and a ball popped up, and it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. Batting second, the center fielder. Jay so digging in, Jay Allen. Allen. Now snap throw to first. Oh, De La Cruz back in standing. Grounded to third. Could be two. Fires to second for one. And they turn the double play. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Fouled off, he was late. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Kicks and deals. That one missed. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Hunter Green. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. And a foul ball. Ball one there. One and one. And a base hit into right center field. And now it's Frankie Lindor, ninth in the National League at RBIs. That one a little bit high. One and oh. Nimmo aboard here at first with nobody out. And it's even up. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. And another ball. Righty to the plate. Hard ground ball, base knock. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Two for eight in the series so far. 
There's a strike. First and second here, no outs. And there's a strike of the outside corner, and it's 0-2. Newman over to second for one on Devado and they turn it batting four the first baseman Alonso here's Pete Alonso homered last night added another hit as well and ball one Two outs with a runner at third. Foul ball there. And the next pitch is way outside. Green, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. the pitch that one a triple digits yeah if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away swing and a miss the velocity blasted it right past him well this guy competes hard we see the emotion there I love it great job of getting out of the jam And welcome back. Second inning to set to go. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Joey Votto. Peterson back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. And the 1 0. There's a strike. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. He swings and fouls one off. In the dirt. Narvaez with the throw to first. And Votto is retired. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Digging in, Jason Vossler. That's the third, Baden. Gets it to first, and they got him. Batting six, the designated hitter, TJ. And now the designated Friedel. hitter for the Reds, TJ Friedel. In there for strike one. On the inside corner for a strike. 0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for. Brings it in for the third out. Reds go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. Second baseman, Luis. Jordan. 
and here it comes. And takes low for ball one. There's a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. In there. And so now one and two. Lifted in the air down the left side. Newman makes the catch, and there's one gone. That exists. The third baseman. And next for the Mets, Brett Beatty. Two for seven in the series so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. That one in for a strike two and two. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next offering is foul back. One down base is empty. And yeah, that's outside. And that's ball four. Here's Mark Canna. Sat out last night's game. But back in there today. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Fooled on that pitch. Got a little anxious. Hammered down the right side, but foul. No score here in the second. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him swinging. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Omar Narvaez at the plate. First offering, and it just misses. And the right-hander deals. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Mets leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third inning, and now Nick Senzel. Senzel goes six foot one. 205 pounds, and he's usually in center, but today starting in right. Popped up, Guillaume settles under it and puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Well, less responsibility for him today, making the move from being the captain of the outfield to move into right field. So he let his center fielder take those balls in the gap and kind of like a little day off. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Stuart Fairchild. First pitch, just misses. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a miss. And the count even, one and one. Swings through that one for strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got him looking. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Kevin Newman. 
The batter now, Kevin Newman. That's in there. And that's strike one. And there's a foul ball. That misses the zone. One and two to count. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. That one ripped. Can't get their base hit. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Ellie De La Cruz now at the plate. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Ball. And there's a ball. The 1 1. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Good Whoa, eye right there. there. Newman, the runner at first with two gone. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Alonso pulls it down, and that's the third out. Reds leave one, and we are still scoreless. Set for the bottom of the third, go, now batting go, 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 Tim Locastro. The right fielder. Maybe the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. Swing and a ball popped up. And there's one down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right that's there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Hunter Green, a lot of people are excited about this guy. The second overall pick in 2017 made his debut in 2022. What a fastball he has. Yeah, it's amazing. Even if he's not pitching for a winning team, just stopping and seeing what he's doing is unreal. The fastball velocity, effortless. It's triple digits regularly. Here's Francisco Lindor. And he's already singled in this game. Yeah, he set a record in his second career outing when he threw 39 pitches 100 miles an hour or more in a single game and that surpassed Jacob DeGrom's record of 33 the 01 that one ran inside almost got him the 1-1 one -one is fouled off One, two now. And that one lifted in the air center field. Allen puts it away. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Mets. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Queens. Start of the fourth. In now for the Reds. Jay Allen. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a strike. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Hit on the ground to the right side. Sneaks through, base hit. 
Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. First pitch, and he just misses. Nobody out. Runner at first. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. And that's a base hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And now, Joey Votto. That clips the corner. Allen at third. Stevenson on at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Got him looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Two on, one out. Next for Cincinnati, Jason Vossler. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Strike two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel. In the air, left field. Makes the catch. Runner tags from third. Safe. He beats the tag. And it's 1-0. Well, we finally have a score in this ball game. Sack fly, nice job of manufacturing a run, and that could end up being a big run at this rate. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, T.J. Friedel. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the... Well, oh. plays made there, and that retires the side. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Reds one and the Mets nothing. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Jeff McNeil. The designated hitter. Green back to work. Swing and a miss. Going one. That clips the corner. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. The 1-2. That's a little bit low. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at 2-2. Two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Swing and a ball popped up. And there's one away. And now it's the polar bear. Pete Alonzo went down on strikes his first time through. And that's down it away. Next one is off the play. Two and oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. 
Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Gone! Pete Alonso takes it deep. His 53rd homer of the year, and we are starting over. It's 1-1. Ziggy, that's his 199th career home run. Well, 200 homers is an exciting number for anyone to get to. He's got to be looking forward to that next one a lot. when you fall behind in the count 2-0. You've still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there. The hitter did a nice job of turning that pitch around, not missing it in a hitter's count. Here's Luis Guillorme. That one lifted to left, and that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wastes no time there. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. Lifted in the air, right field. And there are two outs. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And stepping in for New York, Mark Canna. His first at bat was a strikeout. Hunter Green has a long way to go before he's the most famous baseball player from his high school. Mike Stanton went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California. Of course, now we know him as John Carlos Stanton. Senzel makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even now at 1-1. Back after this on the show. Back here at City Field. And now the right fielder, Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. And the pitch. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. And now the count is even. And the pitch. Popped up. Lindor in position. One up, one down. Now that left field, Stewart. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Stewart Fairchild. Caught looking his first time up. Foul ball. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Bounced out to short. Uh-oh, throw goes to second. And he gets to first safely as a result. So I think I'll just sit here quietly in disbelief. Boog, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they nope, get in a position to do so. Newman up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. One for one with a single so far. Ground ball could be two. Lindor, that's one. Over to Alonzo, double play. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Omar Narvaez. Narvaez. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Mets just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. That's down and in. Now. 
And it's filled up. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. But that kind of velocity in elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. So up next for New York, Tim Locastro. That one misses, and that's ball one. And a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. He's got it. And there's two away. The center fielder, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. So the batting order turns over. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. One for two. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is one and one. That one missed. Next one is off the plate, and the count is three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count, be ready to turn on a fastball. The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive That's secondary shot. lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Lindor, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Kicks and fires. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Met strand one, still tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here in Queens, start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Ellie De La Cruz. Now into the ball game on defense, Mark Vientos. He's in at shortstop. Now playing shortstop, number 27, Mark Vientos. Peterson back to work and that's a strike this game has been so tight feels like the next team to score will win it and a swing and a miss there man he was really tardy on that fastball great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball add some velocity to it on the next pitch can't catch up Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. Ball in. Out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Leadoff man retired in the six. Oh, well, nice job by the shortstop to feel that on the backhand and gather himself, get his feet underneath him. He had a long throw, but he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure the grip, and finish the throw. So up next, Jay Allen. And first offering is fouled off.
Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. And that one missing low. I like the sequence right here. Jammed him on that last pitch, then trying to go away. You get that hitter leaning out over the plate a little bit. Now he's very vulnerable again to something inside like we saw earlier. Up the middle. And it gets by him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. One gone runner at first. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Swing and a miss. 0 1. 0 -1. Here comes a pinch. Looked That's like it was a little bit up. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. The flip to the pitcher covering as the pitcher brings it in for the out and the runner advances to second well there's a lot riding on that at bat right there nice job of the pitcher to bear down make the pitch get the ground ball excellent piece of work now Joey Votto this one high in the air to left center Canna on the move to the gap brings it in and that's the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Jeff McNeil stands in. The pitch. In the air, left side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. The first base and next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonso. One home run shy of 200 for his career. And first offering is fouled off. Alonso in his sixth season, 28 years old. And he's a two-time home run derby champion. And a pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And that one upstairs. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Not even close there. Two balls, two strikes. And that's too high. and misses it's a strikeout well that right there is just a pitcher's pitch tailing away from the hitter lowered away with some good action at the end you know even if he gets the bat to that ball it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side tell you what that's a tremendous two strike pitch now it's the second baseman Luis Guillorme that one hit to right Makes a nice running catch. And that is the third out of the inning. And the Mets go down one, two, three. Score remains deadlocked at one. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Jason Vossler. Jason Vossler. The wind of the pitch. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. TJ Friedel, the next to hit. And that's in there for strike one.
Left hand batter waits. And a good eye there. That one pulled foul. Next pitch is outside. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Base hit into the outfield. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Now it's Nick Senzel. In there for strike one. Francisco Alvarez. He takes over behind the plate after the injury. Now catch it. Bossler on second. Friedel at first with no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. And ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. One ball, two strikes. And he deals. That one out to right. Lo Castro on the move. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. At the belt and fires. Called out on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. And now it's going to be Stuart Fairchild. Fly ball to right. Lo Castro moving under it. And there's two away. Now Kevin Newman. Kevin Newman, the next to hit for the Reds. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. In there, and it's 0-1. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and That's stay there. Next one misses, and one and one. That's towards center. Nimmo has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. Connor Overton will take over here and he's been hit pretty hard at times this year so he's looking for better right now giving up more than a hit per inning now the third baseman Brett Beatty he's 0 for 1 on third baseman pitch that's in for a strike now one and one
Hard hit left side. To first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Mark Canna getting ready to hit. On the ground to the left. And that quickly, two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Francisco Alvarez digs in now. His righty lefty splits there. Come back to the mound. Throw over to Votto, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. John Curtis. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Ellie De La Cruz. One for three. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Stepping in, Jay Allen. And a sack bunt here. Bare hand has to hurry. And they get the out. Now batting the catcher, Tyler <laughs> Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. There's a strike. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Runner takes off for third. Bro, and they got him. Well, he had a really good jump off the pitcher from second, but it didn't matter right there. Just not enough speed to outrun a good throw to third base. The 0-2. Caught him looking for the K. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Tim Locastro. The pitch. Bunt to ten, but that goes foul. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Right side. Tosses to first and a couple of quick outs. Now that the shortstop. 
And now it's Mark Vientos. Came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Swings through that one. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. And in this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. Here's a 2 1. And that one fouled off. Right hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Mets go down quickly. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching for the Mets, number 39, Edward. Yeah. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth, and now Joey Votto. And a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Singy, what do you got for me on that entrance? Timmy Trumpet and Blaster Jacks getting it done. Yeah, you don't even have to be a fan of Edwin Diaz to get pumped up about that song and the energy in this ballpark. The 2 And that's ripped for a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So digging in, Jason Vossler. That's in there. Strike one. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. And it's one and one. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That one inside. Two balls and a strike. Fly ball down the right field line. This one's got a chance. Home run. An absolutely majestic shot. His 21st of the year. It's 3-1. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark and now T.J. Friedel and the first pitch misses for ball one Diaz multi-time all-star 29 years old and he was a third round pick back in 2012 the 1-0 on the ground and it finds its way through for a hit a couple of hits in a row for him here once you get the ball by the pitcher there's a lot of base hits up the middle even on ground balls so a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit and ready to hit now for Cincinnati Nick Senzel ball one no strikes There's a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. 
and puts the squeeze on that and there's one down just pull off of it a little bit right there that front no shoulder now. coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left Stuart Fairchild the next to hit for the Reds that's in there that's strike one Diaz a 6-3 righty he features a four seam fastball a slider and he works in a two seamer and there's a hit Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now here is high fly ball down the left field line. Way back there. And it hits the base of the wall. One run across Vientos with a relay home. And he's in there as two runs score on the play. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Next to hit, Ellie De La Cruz. And that's outside, oh, and it's one to know. Runner leads away at second, and it's fouled away. Runner at second here, one gone. And a strike in there. One ball, two strikes. On the ground, right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. Two gone. The bat. The center field. Jay. Now it's going to be Jay Allen. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. He swings and misses at the oh first pitch. 0-1. Two outs and one in scoring position. In there at the knees, and it's 0 2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Struck him out looking. Four runs in the inning, and they've jumped in front. Hard of the order, 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Reds five and the Mets one. And welcome back. Bottom nine. Now it's the DH. Jeff McNeil. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch misses. Now two and two. And here it comes. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2-2. And now it's filled up. 